Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the World Wrestling Network Radio Show. My name is Joe Ross Fennell. Today, um, before I get in, uh, into the topic that we're going to talk about, um, first of all I want to give a shout out to uh, MDS of Death, um, also known as Dr. Resurrection. He recently um, plugged me, recently gave uh, my link below and you know, gave me a bit of exposure for people to come onto my channel. So uh, I want to thank him. Uh, his link for his channel is below. I also want to give a shout out to Enter the Arena US. The link is also below. This guy does fantastic WWE news and reviews, and also TNA reviews as well. Um, basically, we're gonna get right into it, folks. We're gonna talk about the Royal Rumble and um, the first the first three matches that will be in the Royal Rumble. Um, they're gonna be uh, the the match between Natalia and Lay Cool for the Women's Championship, Davis Championship. Then we're going to have Edge versus Dolph Ziggler for the uh, World Heavyweight Championship. And also WWE Championship, The Miz against Randy Orton. And also not forgetting the 40-man Royal Rumble, but we will get into that very, very shortly. Um, first of all, we're going to talk about the Women's Championship, uh, Natalia versus Lay Cool. Uh, my prediction for this match is going to be Lay Cool on the grounds of Awesome Kong has recently signed a contract with WWE. And uh, in my personal opinion, I think she is going to interfere in this match and give Lay Cool the win. But then, possibly next week, she's going to turn on them and she will be the new Divas Championship. I think it's very good um, Awesome Kong is actually in WWE. And uh, I think she's going to push the Divas Championship to new heights and new limits. Uh, the next match I'm going to talk about is Edge versus Dolph Ziggler. Um... I'm going to be brutally honest with you, I think Edge is going to win this hands down. As much as I love Dolph Ziggler, and I think he is absolutely amazing. Um, you know, he's really improved over the past few um, days and also the past few weeks. Um, however, it could determine whether or not Kane will enter it. Because let's not forget, Edge and Kane still have um, a lot of, uh, they still need to go through a lot of uh, war. And uh, I think Kane's going to interfere in this match. Um... But still, I think Edge will come out strong. I think they need to keep this guy strong for the Elimination Chamber. And um, I could actually see Edge versus Christian for the WrestleMania. We'll get that um, possibly next week. Now, the next match that I'm going to talk about is the WWE Championship. And in my opinion, I couldn't care less about this match. I think it is completely idi idiotic and stupid that Randy Orton is in this match. In my opinion, it should have been Miz and Morrison. Um, unfortunately, they copped out Morrison for um, for a, a match on Raw, which was pretty good. But at the same time, I would have preferred to see Miz and Morrison continue their feud into this um, pay-per-view. In my opinion, you know, I think Orton's going to win. But I think it's going to be via disqualification, which means the Miz is going to win. Is going to, sorry, retain the um, championship. And um, not a lot. I, I can't really see much happening in this match. I think it's going to be a very boring match as well. Um, I can see them as hold on to the championship. I would like for him to hold on to the championship till the elimination chamber and then give it to um, possibly an, an, a proper main event. I don't think Miz is ready yet to headline WrestleMania, but that's just my opinion. Um, we're going to talk about now about the 40 man Royal Rumble. And. Um, I'm going to go through a list of people because let's be brutally honest with you, the chances of me predicting who's going to win this is even worse because uh, it's 40 people now going to be in the Royal Rumble, which I think is awesome. A lot of people are actually very negative about it and saying, oh, it's um, there's too many people, it's going to you know, diminish the sort of the, the, the traditional Royal Rumble match, but I, I completely disagree with that. Anyway, I can't go out with saying that John Cena will be favourite to win this match as much as I... As much as it pains me to say this, John Cena, you know, as you well know, he is in a feud with CM Punk. It's John Cena's always been the person that's been in the uh, main event in uh, WrestleMania, and he has a very, very good chance this year to win it. Also, they're going to try to make him look like sort of the Superman John Cena, as I'm sure that you all probably despise in here, but anyway... Um, it's because it's a forty man. They're gonna try to boost John Cena even more, which is just completely stupid because they need to push someone else. Um, John Cena, you know, he's a great chance to win this, but he is not the only person, which I'll tell you in a minute. Um, is not the only person that could possibly win this. Um, CM Punk. Um, same reasons for last time. CM Punk is um in a feud with John Cena, 
and at the same time, you know, he has equal chance of uh, as well with John Cena to actually uh, win this match. Also, not ignoring the fact that he's with the Nexus, and um, we could have sort of what happened to Randy Orton, I believe, it was two thousand nine. Uh, Randy Orton and uh, his uh, Ted DiBiase and Cody Rose, they basically went, they basically ganged up together, and they got Randy Orton to win. So we could we could possibly see that. Um, Sheamus has been rumored to win it as well, but I honestly think it's gonna be him because he has some uh unwanted uh matches with Triple H, as I'm sure you're aware of in the last it wasn't the last Extreme Rules but I believe, um the two of them they were at it and basically Triple H got injured in the process. Uh, Sheamus is calling himself the uh the King of Kings. And we're gonna, I think we're gonna see that um, in the Royal Rumble match. But anyway, we'll get back to Triple H um, very soon. Uh, Alberto Del Rio. Um, a lot of people said they would like him to win. I wouldn't like him to win. I would like him to be in WrestleMania, but in the um, Money in the Bank match, and for him to win the Money in the Bank match. I think he's a very talented um, wrestler, and I think you know he he he's a very good wrestler. I think he's gonna be a future World Heavyweight Champion, possibly WWE Championship. Um, but. I can see him doing very well. Um, also, the next person I want to talk about is Wade Barrett. I think he's going to be doing very well in this match. However, I can't see him winning the match. Um, you know, I can't really see him winning the match on the grounds of... He just... I don't know. I think there's still some sort of extra sort of thing that he needs to go through with The Undertaker as well. So I can sort of see Wade Barrett against The Undertaker um, for... Um, the WrestleMania, but I can't see the Undertaker holding the World Championship. But anyway, that's just in my opinion. Triple H, um, he is a, in my opinion, he is my top pick to win the Royal Rumble. Um, him and John Cena and Christian as well. They're the top three picks that I'm gonna pick for the Royal Rumble winner. Um, Triple H, he is extremely, extremely. He was injured. He's been out for nearly a year now, and um, I could see him actually winning this. Um. Um, possibly, you know, he's going to have a feud with, um, Sheamus between then and WrestleMania. So at least we've got something for him to occupy himself, to not get in any other feuds with the WWE Championship. So we, I could see him in a feud with, um, Sheamus. I could see him actually winning it. Um, another guy you need to watch out for is Kane. Uh, Kane has sort of disappeared in the picture. He, I don't believe he wasn't in the last SmackDown against Edge. I think they're trying to reserve him. Um... I can't really see him winning it, but it would be it would be nice for him to win it. Um, but anyway, um, we're going to talk about the people that could possibly be in the um, the Royal Rumble. Um, first person I'm going to go straight into is Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho has been out now for a few months, and um, you know, I, you know, honestly. If he if he he if he ended up coming into the uh, Royal Rumble match and then winning it, it would still be good as well. But um, I can't really see it happening. I think he's in the middle of a tour with his band. So um, whether or not he's going to be in the Royal Rumble or not still hangs in the balance. Um, Triple H, obviously, as I said, he will be a surprise uh, attended in the Royal Rumble. I can safely say that. Another person is The Undertaker. Um, I've still heard rumours that he is still out. And I, but I don't think he'll be in the Royal Rumble, but... If he is, it would still be pretty awesome. Uh, Christian, um, apparently he is very well and fit to get into the Royal Rumble, so um, I could see him going in this. Awesome Kong as well. She could possibly be in the Royal Rumble, but um, we don't know whether... If she doesn't interfere in this uh, women's uh, uh, match, I can't really see her actually... Um, I can't really... I can possibly see her in the Royal Rumble match, but um, it depends on whether or not she's going to be in this women's match or not. Um, also, two um, members that have been rumoured as well to go in this is Rowdy Rudy Piper and Brad Hart. I wouldn't like to see them two in it simply because they're too old. You, you know, it would you know it would be good to have you know sort of like have them for like a few minutes, but not have a long period of them. Um, and honestly, because it's all about pushing the new talent and also pulling. Um, pushing the uh, the proper talent that I think will be in the match. Also, two wild cards that may possibly be in is Bill Goldberg 
and Sting. Sting has been rumoured in the Sun newspaper to possibly be in the Royal Rumble. Bill Goldberg also because of his hometown, I believe in WrestleMania, he's been rumoured to be in it. So, I, I mean, it'd be fantastic for Sting to go against The Undertaker, but um, uh, very, very, very small chance of it happening. Anyway, my three picks are going to be Christian, Triple H, and... What was the other one? Um... Christian, Triple H and John Cena, as much as it pains me to say John Cena, possibly going to win it, but he probably will because, you know, PG air and all that there. Anyway, if you guys want to hear more news, new, more updates, just go to my uh, YouTube channel. And also, if you would like to comment or send me a video response, you're more than welcome to. This has been Jared Ross Fennel and this has been uh, my radio show. Thank you very much for listening.